So we're good. We're, we're live. I just derped on stream. No big deal. Let's uh, let's fly down to this uh, to this POI down here in Boulder Mouth Vale, and then ooh, look, there's guys, double POI action going on over here. And then we'll hop on over to this waypoint through this fog here. It'll be, and I just I almost fell. Great, fantastic. Um, looks like there's a fellow over here. Well, uh, looks like they're AFK, you know. Ooh, there's a veteran something to kill. I want to kill it. I helped, uh, I helped someone there. Yes, a veteran great ice worm. Let's go get that. But yeah, new Thrifty Threads article coming out probably, I want to say next Monday. Unless we get our editing process done super quick, um, it could be Friday, but probably next Monday is when this will come out. And it's an Asura Thrifty Threads. It's pretty neat. Can't wait to show it off. Alright, let's take this dude out super quick. Of course, he's got that stupid knockdown. Maybe I should put down Yellow Brick Road. I mean, I guess like all the ice rooms have that stupid knockdown, don't they? The fury is mine. There he goes. Some nice XP for us. How close are we to mastery? 400k X XP away. Yeah, I guess it's possible this stream. We only have about 50% of the map left. I guess you do get, you can get upwards of 800k XP per map though. FPS Polska in chat says hello. Hello, sir. Welcome to the, welcome to Lauren Ars Pass part two. Um, should be fun. Should be fun stuff, so. Do stick around and check it out. I don't imagine it'll take too long, but probably another like two hours. I could, I could see Lornar's Pass being a four hour total map since the other ones are generally like three. I can see Lornar's Pass coming out of around four. That is definitely a thing I can see happening. Resin dull yaks up in this, up in this, you know, up in this place. Killing ice worms, getting this heart done. Taking care of business, basically. What's this place called? Lyot's Herd. I guess Lyot is the owner. That person's got the Balthazar outfit. That's kind of cool. I like that outfit. That's probably... That's one of my favorite outfits they've ever put out. I don't know what my favorite outfit would be, but that's one of them. Actually, my favorite outfit would probably be the Monk one they put out, because that is the uh, Elite Woven Armor from Guild Wars 1, which was the first set of Elite Armor I ever got in Guild Wars 1. So that would probably undoubtedly clock in as my favorite outfit. I actually like this dude's outfit he's got going on here. I mean, the legs are stupid, the, but the, I like his top half, what he's got going on with the chainmail shoulders and the cultural armor. That's pretty cool. FPS Polska says, yeah, it's a huge zone. Yep, it's pretty huge. I gotta wrangle the Stolyak over here. Offer a world where wrangling giant cattle-like creatures is as easy as freaking crossing F. There's our heart there. That was an easy heart. All right. Where are we off to now? Right down here, I think. Um, is this a house we can go into? It's a camp. Let's go check out the camp, guys. <sighs> Alright. There is... Guys, there is absolutely nothing here. This is, uh... This is about as empty as it gets, right? Um, and there's... I believe you can't flap through these. No. Can we see inside this way? Looks like there's a, looks like there's an actual fully animated fire in here, that just uh, we never get to see. I mean, I guess you can see it through the flap slightly there. I want to see if there's anything. The guys, there's nothing interesting in here. I'm just a dork. Yeah, there's there is nothing to be found in there. All right. That was possibly the most. That was probably possibly the biggest waste of time I've ever engaged in on this stream, and I've engaged in some serious waste of, wastes of time. All right. Ooh, another, uh... Ooh, Frostmaw. I'm wondering... Now, Frostmaw... Frostmaw... Holy crap, is Frostmaw... Because I feel like Frostmaw was the dungeon boss in Guild Wars 2 for, uh... Yeah, Frostmaw was totally the dungeon boss in Guild Wars 2 for that one dungeon with all the ice worms. That was called Frostmaw's Lair, wasn't Not it? Enough energy. Guys, after this champ fight, we're gonna lay down the wiki magic, and we're gonna find out if I'm right. Because I'm like 82% sure that Frostma um, was a bot, was a dungeon boss in Guild Wars 2, which is weird because we kill Frostma in that dungeon. So I don't know. I mean, maybe there's just another worm that they named Frostma, right? But uh, originally in this area, actually, there was a giant um, s snow worm called Ma the Mountain Heart, and that was a boss you could fight in Guild Wars 1. 
and it didn't always spawn. The only place there was a guaranteed spawn for it was this little zone called uh, Dreadnought's Drift, which is um, kind of what Dredgehaunt Cliffs takes its name after. And that was sandwiched in between this area and Snake Dance. And uh, that in Gilbert's one, and that's where you would go to kill this worm called Ma the Mountain Heart. And I believe Frost Ma is, um, in this game, is supposed to be in that same area. But I believe in Gilders 1 there was a worm called Frostmaw that was a dungeon boss in the Frostmaw dungeon. Which was a tough dungeon, as I remember. Those, those worms did a crap load of damage. Really tough dungeon. Looks like I got a helper here. Or, ah. But that fight wasn't too bad. I think we could have handled it on our own. But, you know, helpers are always nice. They make it go a little faster. Ah, man, I accidentally get my weapon swap. No big deal. I do like Hammer, even though it's, it's just a little slow. Finally starting to hit, you know, thousands on the regular. I'm excited to see how we'll be hitting at level 80. The spoils right. of battle. Sweet. I'm going to go on the Gilders 1 wiki right now really quick. Guys, you guys already know this is always a wiki stream at this point. Guild Wars Wiki. I gotta Google it because I don't have the Guild Wars 1 Wiki bookmarked. I do it on my other computer. Alright. Frost Ma. Why do I have caps lock on? Frost. Uh. Alright, guys. Listen, I'll figure this out eventually. Frost Ma. Yeah, Frost Ma's Burrow. That was the uh, dungeon in Guild Wars 1. And Frostmaw the Kinslayer was the dungeon boss. I was right. I'm wondering, now I'm going to... Guys, now I'm going to wiki him on the Guild Wars 2 wiki. And we're going to see if... um, We're going to see if this, it's the same worm. I don't see how it can be, because we do kill Frostmaw. Frostmaw is a champion... Thoughts? Oh, okay, I'll read the whole thing to you guys. Frostmaw is a champion worm located in Bouldermouth Vale, directly east of Bearstone Shrine Point of Interest. Though it shares its name with Frostmaw the Kinslayer, one of the largest and most dangerous ice worms ever known, that Frostmaw was killed and any relation is unknown. Okay, so it does mention it and it does say that it's unknown. So that's kind of cool. I believe I've come across this... I like this person's name. I can get it done. Um, but I do believe I've come across that boss before and thought the same thing and just didn't have the energy to wiki it. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of cool. It's obviously named after him even if there's no relation, right? And there's the bear, the aforementioned Bearstone Shrine POI. We'll, uh, we'll kneel, even though it probably won't do anything. I'm a Norn, right? I, I worship Bear Spirit. It's totally cool. Totally, I'm role-playing, guys. This is, this is now a role-playing stream. Uh, let's head through this, through this dank fog here. <laughs> dank, this dank fog. It's pretty dank, bro. Bit of a vast expanse of nothingness here while we trek our way to the next uh, series of stuffs to do. Yeah, mastery level More definitely might explore. happen this stream. I'm kind of excited about that. If it doesn't, you know, no big deal. I mean, if I'm feeling it, I could always just extend the stream afterwards and go get a mastery level, but I don't know about that. It depends on how much XP is left. Like, obviously, if it's like 10,000 XP, I'd totally go do it, but if it's like 100, probably not. Uh... POI here at the crossroads, and then waypoint, and then vista, and POI, and POI. Guys, we got stuff to do, okay? We're not lacking for game content here. That's that's my main point in this uh, in this explanation here. Rock Lair, that's the name of this camp. Let's find uh, someone who's in charge. Come lend There's a an hand, event will you? The Priory needs to commandeer a dig site from the dredge. I don't know if I want to do that, sir. I'll, we'll see. I bet the Magister's in the tent. No. I do need my armor repaired, though. That's a thing I could do. There we go. Um, I guess this camp doesn't have a... Oh, no. Here's the Magister. You Magister Gorga. Welcome to our camp. We try to be hospitable, but we don't have a lot of time to accommodate guests right now. We've got work to do. What sort of work? We're searching for dwarven artifacts. We figure they might... We figure they might tell us something about fighting the destroyers, since the dwarves had a lot of experience in that area. How's it going? Terribly. The dredge want the artifacts too, which means we have some dangerous competition. And we've got pirates on our doorstep. Pirates? They haven't come to the camp yet, but they've come as close as that bridge to the south. 
which is too close for comfort. I enjoy killing pirates. A lot. But not if it delays our mission. So normally I would say that's sort of out of character dialogue for a Priory person. Priory aren't supposed to be all gung-ho for battle and stuff. They're supposed to be like scholars. And they're supposed to be so knowledgeable in the ways of uh, like magic and uh, I mean martial weaponry too. That they make competent fighters. But fighting isn't supposed to be a core part of their skill set. But uh, I'll give this a pass because they're a char. And char just like killing things like by default. So is that racist? I don't know. But, um, this game definitely perpetuates that stereotype at any rate, so I will give it a pass. Let's see what Friedman has to say. Come lend a hand, will you? This is exhilarating. I was stuck organizing the archives for years, but now I'm out doing something that matters. Competing with the dredge only increases the excitement. This place is almost perfect. Almost, but not perfect. Well, no, nowhere's perfect. Every time I get right. sent out scouting for some artifact sky, caches, I run into that loudmouth Asura scientist. That can put a cloud in your sky any day. Excuse me. She's obnoxious and crazy and loud. Anyone who willingly experiments on imps for a living has got issues. She'll make a difference. Um, he's talking to a... She's talking about a heart person that I might have actually ran past. Or she might be right up here. Um, but yeah, that's a part I actually miss a lot. Polska says so much insight into the game. <laughs> yeah. We started to shave him, but he had so much scurf, we were afraid to go further. Mm. Whoa. That's that. not good. We didn't want to hurt him or aggravate the skin. Had to stop. What, uh, what is, what are they talking about with the shaving over there? Oh my. <laughs> okay, um, am I zoomed in to where I want to be? Yeah, I was. Okay. I'm about ready to spit nails. That's how frustrated I am. I'm not sure where that expression came from, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because it doesn't make a lot of sense, but if I could spit nails, I would. Man, I screwed that one up. Alright, why? Some scholars are also fighters, not me. I'm good with books and artifacts. If I, uh, if, and if I have to physically beat back Someone dredge who are trying to put their grubby claws on the very same artifacts I'm here to dredge. study, uh, sounds like you have as much a right to the artifacts as you do. Ooh, I'm disagreeing with her. I'm not disputing that, but it doesn't mean they're not causing us problems. They can study them when I'm done with them. That I feel like I'm giving right them up. I'm surprised All right. Succeed. So she's not much of a fighter, even though she's a Norn. It's kind of, you know, she should probably be a good fighter if she's a Norn. But, uh, Gillard. His eyes are violently turquoise. Is it just me, or is that a very extreme eye color? Polska says, unfortunately, I need to go to bed earlier today, so I'll have to watch later on YouTube. Thanks for streaming. Have fun. Have fun, <laughs> have fun going to bed, sir. Yeah, no. Uh, thank you for coming out to the stream, and enjoy the rest of your evening. I don't fancy escort missions. They kind of suck. So uh, I'm thinking we'll pass on that for now. Not a big escort mission fan. I mean, they're not fun to watch, right? Escort missions, come on. So here's, um, yes, here's the heart I was talking about. The That guy who was talking about the craziest certain scientist. This is the scientist he was referring to that experiments on the Ips researcher, Suki. So I'll talk to her. I'm far too busy for my own good. Please, you must help me. It's imperative. I won't even try to experiment on you. Well, probably. Um, how can I help? Oh, thank you. Phew. I need to collect imp ensigns for my testing apparatus. But it tends to escape as soon as the imps die. Fortunately, I've constructed essence coagulators to help. Um, what's an essence coagulator? An essence coagulator uses electricity to solidify an imp's essence. When the imp dies, their essence will just plonk onto the ground, and my golemites will swoop in and collect it. Um, I'll get as much essence as you need. I hate, I freaking hate hearts where you have to use bundle items. They piss me off so much. But sometimes you gotta yes. do it. I do, I hate, guys, if I've never told you this on the stream before, I think I've talked about it before, I can't stand bundle items, they're the worst. I just hate them. So, that's the thing. Which of these do I want to be using? Just the, I'll just use the auto attack. I mean, this one's not bad, like, you can kill things relatively quick, but... I just, I can't, guys, I can't stand bundle items, they suck so much. Alright, and this heart's a bit of a slog, I'm not gonna lie. Just, I mean, I guess it feels that way to me, though, because I'm using a bundle item, which I don't want to use. And when I target the wrong thing, you know. Can I get this guy for the heart? Looks like I can. I don't think the stalkers count to the, to the heart. Come on. Oh my god, this stalker's taking out all my freaking DPS. 
How much uh, DPS does this do? Not very much. Alright. How much range does it have? 800. Pretty terrible. Not a great skill. I don't think the Jotun are uh, giving me hard credit. Don't think I need to be doing that. No, I definitely don't. Uh, more imp portals is what I want. Come on. Eat pain. I think a Jotun is attacking me. I don't, I don't care. Not enough energy. I'll leave him behind. And yes, it looks like all over this hillock I can get uh, some heart credit. So that's nice. Um, really quick while I'm doing this arc, guys, I do want to pimp a new stream that Guild Mag is going to be coming out with next week. Um, our content manager, Sandra, who is on the podcast with Rowan and I, uh, is going to be starting a free-to-play leveling stream, kind of showcasing the uh, the free-to-play leveling and how it works and all the restrictions and kind of gauging the uh, the gameplay on a free-to-play on a free -to -play 1 to 80 account. So that's going to be a stream we're starting up next Thursday, not tomorrow, but um, a week from tomorrow. And that'll be Sandra's stream. So definitely come out for that. It'll be a lot of fun. Same time as mine, 7 p.m. Pacific. So I would encourage you to come out to that because it'll probably be a lot of fun. So I believe it is in the schedule below. So definitely refer to the stream schedule if you'd like to kind of mark it down. I'll probably plug that again before I, I, uh, before I log off. Don't need to be killing Joe. What am I doing? I want imps. Dude, I don't have time for you. Quickness always solves everything. I love how, how long you can have quickness for with Shiro. It's so cool. Alright, it looks like it uh, might be time... Oh, there's another imp. Alright. And of course my quickness runs out before it pops. That's great. Am I collecting investments? No. Um, I think the... Ah, can I tag in on this? Yeah, and I can pop this and that should get us the heart. There we go. Let's get out of here. Alright. Your assistance at Rock Lair has advanced my research tenfold. Things have been booming, mostly intentionally, with your help. I've got more imps than I know what to do with. I'm sure I'm sure to become famous with all this new data, so you can go ahead and brag about how you know me. It'll benefit us both. See you around, Mabel the Ladle. Thank you very much. Alright, where are we off to? Oh, we still need to get that waypoint that I've been talking about since last stream. Fantastic. Look at the map rewards here. A uh, box of cooking supplies. That's interesting. Alright. Thought I heard a weird noise. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to the stream. Alright. Uh, looks like we got a Jotun tent here. Lots of Jotun in this zone. Um, this zone and Dredge Haunt have, both have a uh, high concentration of Jotun. There's a little bit in the northern right. part of Timberline, Soon. too. Honestly, I think Dredge Haunt might have the most Jotun. Vaults River Waypoint. Let's uh, head into here for the Marionette Vista. It's a pretty cool vista. It's kind of frustrating if you don't know how to do it. I've probably thoroughly forgotten how to do it, but I'm going to try my best. It's just got... Uh, it can have a bit of a tricky jump if you don't know what you're doing. But this was... Uh, for anyone who didn't play Living World Season 1, there was an event in Living World Season 1 where we had to fight this thing right here. It was... This is the wreckage of a giant steam... like kind of steampunk marionette robot. You can see its head there. That'll give you an idea of the scale this thing was. This thing was a good, if we're going to put um, into the into game scale, this thing was probably a good 100 feet tall. So maybe 75, 100 feet tall. And we had to fight it as it was a giant group event. It was really cool. It was one of the best uh, map meta events the uh, game has ever come out with. So, and a lot of people um, a lot of people will cite continuously cite this fight as an example of a really a really mechanically sound fight in uh, Guild Wars 2. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool landmark. Yeah, I don't quite remember how to do this vista, and this is the wreckage of it. So we're going to, uh, and of course, it was a uh, a machination of Scarlet Briar. You can see its uh, its high heel there. That's pretty neat. All right. But let's hop on up it, if 
if I can figure it out. I think I need to jump onto the head. And then jump over here. And then onto here. And then this is where it gets kind of tricky. Because this jump can be a little weird. Yeah, I'm not sure I remember how to... Ah. There we go. Ah. You should be able to run up this. I don't see that any way... Yeah, there we go. And that's that vista. So yeah, that was a really fun event, the uh, Twisted Marionette. I'd highly recommend... I mean, you can't play it anymore, but I'd highly recommend looking it up on YouTube, kind of watching through it. It's a very cool... Very, very cool event that was in the game for a grand total of two weeks. Like, it really was not in the game for very long. Because that's how long uh, Living World content used to last for, it was two weeks. Alright, it might have been in for a month. Like, I think they might have had two-week patches, but the content they introduced would be in for a month. It was something like that, but it was in the game for a very short time in comparison to the game's total lifespan. I should be going the other way because there's a POI over there that I need to obtain. But yeah, pretty, uh, pretty neat landmark. That's an example of, um, because before the, uh, before the Living World, that wasn't there. There was, I think it was just like a rock there or something. So that's another example, like the Tower of Nightmares, of how the Living World has... Uh, physically changed the game permanently. Very, very cool. Hmm. I don't even know that I need to be going up here. I kind of just want to. Just to show I can. There we go. Grab this POI. Looks like we've got a dredge event to do. I think this was the event that the Priory guy was talking about up at the thing at, um, about clearing out the dredge. I think this is the follow-up event to that escort I didn't want to do. Am I stuck here? Have I gotten myself stuck? Slash stuck. You know, people always tell me to use slash stuck if I'm stuck in game. Never works. It's never Clear worked for trench. me once. We need access to those All right, this is uh, fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna teleport because clearly I've gotten stuck. So that's a big old waste of time right there. But let's head back and grab that POI because map completion is, map completion is the most important thing we do on this stream. And then we'll try to tag in on this dredge event. I don't know if I'll make it. It's going down a little quickly. Um, these guys should give me credit, actually. There we go. That should get me event credit there. Ooh, lots of stuff to do here. Okay, we're gonna quest after that POI because that was the original goal. And then, and there is a dredge heart here too, so doing the event is going to be to my advantage. Oh, it looks like the POI, you have to go to the other side. That's fun. I guess I'm going to tag a bit more into this event. Because I like experience. There we go. Alright. Get a few of these done. This is kind of a tiny little alcove here. Not really much point. Uh, there's no POI or anything. It's kind of just here. Just a wee little cave. Is there anything behind? Is there anything hidden? Anything secret? There's a buried relic. Oh, I'm just supposed to recover him for the heart. That's stupid. <laughs> Gameplay, that's stupid. <laughs> Take this dude out. Alright, I should go around and get that POI. I think I'm thoroughly, thoroughly involved in the event at this point. God, this is such a roundabout path to this POI. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, that was a lot of out of my way that I didn't fancy going. But there's that. It doesn't even seem like it should be a POI, like Skylands Memory, I guess. It's, I guess it's this whole rock right here, but it's in a very it's very oddly placed in that rock to be a POI for this for this giant uh, protrusion here. Just glide back into heart range for some dredge action. And I couldn't quite reach him with that. Oh well. Clear out the dredge. We need access to those ruins. There that goes. Um, your pile. Is that gonna give me dredge to fight? There's the event for us. 
13k XP, pretty nice. I like it. I do like the, the gents are giving me like a, a, another thousand XP every time I go up in map level. So ho I think you get like average like 18k XP for for a gold event when you're a level 80 in a level 80 zone. Should be here soon. Set up a perimeter. I need a moment to dredge. Come back. Yes, sir. We can just pull up these dirt piles for the heart. Close these air vents. Ah! How dare you! Fun fact, the uh, next Thrifty Threads article that I've got in the works is going to use the uh, Dredge Dungeon armor, the Sorrow's Embrace armor. So that's pretty cool. Here's 10 out of 15 hearts for us. Defense, then offense. Alright, where are we going? We, uh, let's go, let's go over here first, and then we'll head over here. How about that? Does that sound good to everyone? Alright. Dart in here gets POI. What glorious excavation number is this one going to be? <laughs> so these are actually dwarven ruins. You can see the uh, the different stone architecture there, the molletage digs. But yeah, this is this is dwarven ruins right here. Let's see where are we on the map? Bonars Pass. So this would have been this might have been Beacon's Perch. I feel like it's too far north to have been Beacon's Perch. If that was Jackson. Yeah, this is a little too far north to have been Beacon's Perch. It might have been though. Is there anything around here? Pirates are taking care of, man. Will the bridge hold? I mean, because Granite Citadel is like, is like right here. So no, this wouldn't be, uh, this is actually, hmm. I want to find it because this probably would have been an area in Guild Wars 2, right? And the uh, pathing here with the hill and the arch, it adds up for Beacon's Perch. I just don't think this is in the right location to be Beacon's Perch. I guess it could be, because Beacon's Perch wasn't a far cry from, uh... But Beacon's Perch was, uh, north of Lornar's Pass. Beacon's Perch was right around here. So, I know they have changed around the areas that were, um... That were, you know, they've changed around areas from what they were in Guild Wars 2. Just name-wise. Is there anything around here that'll tell us where this is? These people might. <laughs> like, right on cue. They're like, we know! Seek knowledge. But none of them have a name, so none of them knowledge will actually tell me anything. Treasure. Expand your knowledge Damn. while here. Is that guy wearing a whisper set? No, it's a priory hit. Hmm. That's really annoying. I want to know. Maybe the heart person outside? Guys, let's talk to the heart person outside. Alright. Is there... Give me something. If anyone's going to know, it's going to be this person. Explorer Leandra. Alright. Those dredge really had us in a pinch. We appreciate your help. Um, were you looking for Dwarven Relics? Ah, and I finished the heart, so you're probably not going to tell me crap. Alright. We're hoping the relics will tell us more about the Tome of Rubicon and the battles between dwarves and destroyers. Tell me about the Tome of Rubicon. It's an ancient dwarf text that tells of an ancient battle between the Great Dwarf and the Great Destroyer. It also foretold that battle would occur again 250 years ago, which it did in the events of Guild Wars Eye of the North. Um, I've explained both of those things on the stream before, so we're not going to go into it again. I was hoping she'd tell me where this is. You might be able to get that information from the NPCs over here, though. Gillard might be able to tell us. If we're going to survive against the dragons, we have to find answers from the past to help us. Good luck with that. Like that uh, British accent cheese there. She has nothing to tell me. Does the Deltramore ring have the a collection attached to it? It doesn't look like it. Alright. Do you know More anything? More people should nope. learn to barter. Guys, I want to know if that was a town that I knew. <laughs> I'm sad. So actually, guys, this is a wiki stream. We do wiki on the stream. Mulletage digs, we're wikiing it. We're getting on the wiki and we're wikiing. Alright? Do you guys hate it that I wiki on the stream? Is that like a terrible thing? I don't think it wastes too much time. Mulletage digs. Wow, is there really. Is there really no wiki article for Mulletage digs? That's, uh. That's pretty. The Molletage Digs is a small mine owned by the Dredge. They are looking for Dwarven Artifacts. The mine... Hmm. It doesn't have any information on uh, where it might have been. 
So that's annoying. Alright, anyway, I guess it was nowhere significant. I mean, I guess it couldn't be Beacon's Perch, right? Because this rock formation wouldn't have formed here in 250 years, so it would have been built into this rock formation, so... No, it's not Beacon's Perch. I'm wrong there, but... I guess I should have realized that from the very beginning, because Beacon's Perch is an open, uh, open area, but... That was a bit of a derp. Oh well. The layout was similar. Let's hop over to the bridge here. To battle! To battle! I are strong. Alright. Astralaria says, I love Guild Wars Wiki. Yep. The wikis are awesome. They're they're maintained by some awesome, hard-working individuals. Who, who I'm not among. I always go on the wiki, I'm like, huh, there's no article for that. Oh well. And then I don't add one. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a terrible, terrible fan of the game. What was that called? Corsair's Bridge? Cascade Bridge. Pretty cool. I don't know, not really. It's... It's got Crichton architecture there. Architecture? Architecture there. Which is really weird. It's very Crichton. I mean, I guess it is maintained by the Lion Guard, which are based out of Lion's Arch, which is technically in Crita, so I guess I can't fault them for Crichton architecture. Alright. How can I help you? Alright. If you want to stay safe, keep to the roads. There are plenty of beasts in the wilds who'd be more than happy to delay your travels. Keep that in mind. Thank you for a bunch of useless information, lady. Why did they even put that dialogue in the game? Like, it's dialogue like that that just makes me question, why is this even in the game? Like, why would you do this? <laughs> Alright. Uh, we're gonna unlock over here, then we'll finally head over here and grab these two things. I, I know they're there, don't worry, I see them. They're just, we're just not grabbing them yet, guys. We're just not grabbing them yet, that's all. Okay. Hmm. Uh, More to explore. Yeah. Looks like there's a waypoint up here. Ooh, we missed a big old, a big old camp camp up here. We'll grab these things after. I like to go north to south on maps like this, so even though it takes a wee bit longer. I'm I'm pretty OCD. <laughs> My friend Elenia has sent me more food with a admonishment that I don't have it. I never remember food, guys. Like, she sends me food every single stream, and I never remember to get food. I just... I don't know. I don't play this game super optimally, right? Which is why I'm not running Zerker right now, so I never remember her food. This is Oli is clearing. We'll talk to some people there after we get the waypoint. Talking to people is kind of... It's kind of become the shtick on this stream, hasn't it? Talking to people and voice acting the dialogue. Stone scatter waypoint. Let's see, who's got an actual name? I'm not seeing anyone. Deputy Ba. Or Bay. My better name is Bay. Spells and force the weather to give us more wind. Because it takes energy to influence the weather. More energy than it would take to just saw the logs up by hand. I hate your logic. Wow. He's just <laughs> He's determined to not uh, be logical. Elenia in chat says, but the extra XP. I know, I know, it's just I don't remember. Because I'm not, like, I'm not super gung-ho about masteries. Like, they're kind of meh for me. So I haven't been all ham getting them. But I do appreciate you sending me the food, Elenia. Don't get me wrong. I very much appreciate it. But yeah, that's that's just why I forget. Because it's not a huge... the Gaining the masteries themselves isn't a huge deal to me. Alright. Um, welcome to Olaya's Clearing. We've got little to offer, but you're welcome to stay as long as you need. Uh, what is this place? We send lumber east to Marshwatch Haven and Lion's Arch. Supplies have been in short supply with all the pirate activity. Pirates? Tata Covington's main forces are east of here in Blood Tide Coast. There are also two small pirate encampments south of here and around False Lake. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Tata Covington is a world boss, actually, that happens right about here. And, uh, no, that's Claw Island. She happens Remember right about old here. Suits. Best like, soldier like over here. Known. Yeah. I'm and, uh, she's one of the little-known world bosses, along? like, she is part of the train, but it's just, it seems like, just, you know, it seems like she's a lot less popular and less well-known than all the other world bosses, even though she's a world boss event. And she's a, kind of a pirate lord. Alright, uh, we'll go right down here to this stuff, and then we'll come over here to that junk. It is kind of funny that the pirates in this game tend to operate out of lakes. <laughs> like, in real life, like, lakes right. don't really Soon. feature 
even during, um, you know, the uh, golden age of piracy in the you early 1700s, siege they still, the I don't think lake pirates are really are. a thing. No, not really. It's because you can launch anything. Logs, garbage, large animals, large animals on fire, anything. Right. You are, uh, you're a funny gal. What's this place called? Met's Posting. I don't believe we have to fight uh, Lion Guard Met. Wolf gives me the cunning to outwit my prey. Um, my strength ebbs as I wait for the next battle. Come and fight me, so we may both grow more powerful. All right. All right. Thank you for uh, coming out and joining me, Eleni. Really appreciate that. You can see I'll I have my party up there. Doing it. All right. Might makes me right. Attack this dude to pieces. Defense, then offense. Nothing can bring me down. That was a pretty easy one. She got pretty slow attacks with so that hammer. Can fight. In all honesty. Some fat XP's there. Anyone else to talk to here? Just some lazy lion guard. No big deal. No sweat. Kind of a cool rock there. <laughs> that water looks tempting. I'd go for a swim if it wasn't for pirates. Pirates? <laughs> Who needs them? Maybe we'll get the order to clear them out. Then we could both swim. I feel like I feel like he's interested in her, right? With that, and then we could both swim uh, comment. I feel like that was made with like a mm, hint, hint, nudge, nudge uh, context. That's that's how I feel about these two. I feel like she um, hasn't really picked up on it, but he's totes into her. All right. Moving on. Maybe uh, maybe we'll give them names and write a fanfiction and post it on Guild Mag. Rowan will never let that happen, but it's a nice it's a nice fantasy. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's continue. I guess we can waypoint over this way, save us a little bit of travel. All right, where are we? Yeah, over here. So just follow the path, pretty much. No big. I guess I could give my quickness some time to get Fury energy back and just use my boots Everyone, for swiftness. This find is too important to lose to the dredge. We could do an event. Why don't we do an event? Events are good. I like events. Let's do an event. Alright. Sorry, there was someone in my guild chat I didn't uh, recognize. But apparently they're, uh, they're there. Anyway, checking my guild chat on stream. What's up? Anyway, back to dredge. It looks like we have five waves of these guys, and they're of course they're gonna come slow as sin because what other way is there to deliver on uh, wave events, right? Here's more. Might makes me right. I'm out of energy. Hmm, the wave amount isn't going down. This might. I don't know, guys. This event might be a little bit long. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more enemies. I might... You guys, I might bypass this. I'm not gonna lie. We tagged it. We'll get, like, bronze or something. Am I right? Alright. <laughs> In the interest of time, let's continue forward. Grab these two. 71% done with the map. Not bad. Not bad at all. Who can you tell me what that used to be? Um... If you know what's good for you, you'll stay close to Pin and Pass. There are destroyers nearby. That was... Guy, that, dude, I don't care. <laughs> God, all the impertinent dialogue in this game is just amazing. I mean, I guess impertinent isn't the word I'm looking for. Non-pertinent would be the word I'm looking for. There's that. And there's Winter Thaw Waypoint. And then here's uh, Pinion Pass. That guy was just mentioning. I believe this is a portal to Timberline. Dredge Haunt. Okay. T portal to Dredge Haunt guy. Timberline is south of us. And we got gold credit for some event, so that's cool. Magister Arnleaf Iceborne. What is up, fellow Norn. Norn. Nornass. That's the word I was looking for. Alright. With help, we were able to hold off the destroyers. We fought well, and now for. Oh, we fought well, and for now, Pinion Pass is safe. I thought she was saying something else. Got it. Uh, see, again, just no freaking dialogue. 
It's great. It's fantastic. A plus. 10 out of 10. Would dialogue again. Is there anyone else interesting to talk to here? There is nobody. Alright, opinion passed. Whole load of nothing. Not enough energy. Okay. Uh, looks. I think the destroyers are down this way, so we'll hop down there. Hmm. Rumbling rocks. This is what I want. If I wake these up, I should get a destroyer crab. I think a uh, mastery level might happen this stream, guys. We're making XP. We've gained like 150k XP since the beginning of the stream, so... I think uh, mastery level will probably happen. That's pretty neato. What will my next mastery level make me? I'm, looks like I'm working on Fractal Tier 3, so that'll get me uh, that'll get me to 53. So I'm still, I'll still be pitiful, don't get me wrong. I'll still be absolutely nothing short of awful, but just a little less than before. Rumbling rocks for me. Oh, wait. There we are. I just, guys, I discovered the Jotun's shoulders. That's pretty hot. Lenia. She's got that sweet uh, branded back piece from the new Shatter. That looks pretty cool. You've, uh, I see you've themed your armor after it. It looks pretty awesome. That looks like Mist Ward and Char Cultural. Very cool mix, I think. Very neat. I like it. Yeah, I like that look you've got going on a lot. That's very cool. Speaking of looks, I know I already pimped this before, but we've got a few more viewers now. There is going to be a new Thrifty Threads coming out on Guild Mag. Uh, probably next week. Um, I just finished making the outfit today, and I think it looks pretty sweet. It's going to be an Asura one, so keep an eye out for that. Oh my god, I found Bookworm Bwicky. Holy crap. That is amazing. Bwicky is one of the more annoying guild bounties, if you ask If you ask me. She has a, she has a rather annoying fight mechanic involving chill. <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. But yeah, she's not a fun one. Alright, there's that hard done. Right. Hmm. Let's uh let's go eat. what direction is that? West. West is the direction that, that is. Guys, I'm directionally challenged. Don't fight don't fight with me on this. Okay. Ah, I know I can get up this hill. I know I can do it. Get a get a bit of a vantage point here. And then we can glide. Amazing. Alright. Ooh, it looks like we got a Fista up here. That's a thing we need to do. That's a thing that needs to happen. That one's a kind of an annoying Fista, I believe, also. We will try to get it done. Oi! I don't know if I start here. Is that a thing? No, I didn't need to do that. Oh well. Start climbing somewhere. It's not there. Might be over here. Yeah, I think this might be it. Uh, which I believe this maybe. I think. I think there might be multiple ways up this one. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think, uh, like, I, I talked about this on, uh, Snowden Drifts, I believe, also. But vistas like this where you just kind of have to trial and error your way past, uh, invisible collision is really annoying. I think it's poor game design. I think it's lazy way to, uh, design jumping challenge-based content. So I wish I liked the more interesting, uh, more clear-cut stuff. When you just have to kind of mash your keyboard at rock. And just philander your way up. It's kind of stupid. Alright. 7 out of 10 vistas. We're getting close, guys. Um, 
There's a waypoint down there, but we're actually gonna go west first. That is what I want to do. How about we drop all the way into the water from up here? That sounds like fun. That sounds like a thing I could do. By Raven, there's no end. Yes, to we're theory. definitely gonna drop into the water from up here. Pretty neat. I like it. All right, and we got all sorts of stuff to do in here because this is a pirate stronghold. We'll find someone to talk to about it, because they can tell the story better than I. We're going to go to Peg Leg here. Does he actually have a Peg Leg? He does not. He's a lying, you know. You know what he is. All right. You have an eye patch? Wagon needs an eye patch. A parrot would do, too. Do you have a parrot? You can't have a parrot underwater, dude. It's not going to work. All right, what are you doing? Quaggan is becoming a pirate because Quaggan's village was destroyed. Quaggan is alone in the world. Quaggan has left. Quaggan has left is to become. Oh, all Quaggan has left is to become a pirate. Quaggan will show you all the best pirate moves if you want. You're on. I am just gonna destroy this guy. Just gonna quickness him down. Stack that sick burst damage. <laughs> Quotiditas in chat says, Aaron, you weren't hooing enough uh, to be a quaggin. It's true. I don't do the best quaggin. It's uh, it's not even a thing. Quaggin is not my strong suit. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... I want to find someone to talk to about here because I'm not too up to scratch on the whole pirate thing. I know it's the, uh... What is it? The jackdaws versus the... No, it's not the jackdaws here, is it? It's the... Suash versus the Jetsum, isn't it? So, what did you do before this? I guess we'll never find out because she attacked me. I wish I could have gotten that dialogue. Might makes me right. Ah. Okay. Uh, where's the heart person over here? The heart person is always able to tell us. Uh, they're down here. Your faith is your weakness, human. Thank you, Quotinitas, for following. I very much appreciate it. Alright. Ah! Where am I? I'm over here. Okay. Looks like Eleni is switching characters on me. No worries. Foo! Quaggan wants to be a pirate, but pirates made fun of Quaggan. Said Quaggan couldn't join. Uh, why do you want to be a pirate? Quaggan wants to be strong. Quaggan's life, all Quaggan's life, Quaggan has been told to hide and cower when attacked. Quaggan is tired of being a Quaggan. Wow, that is, uh, that is some very deep nihilism. All right. The pirates said Quaggan was too slow, couldn't fight, and wasn't smart. They never gave Quaggan a chance. Quaggan can be strong. Quaggan needs the opportunity. Why do you want to be a pirate? Oh, I already asked. Okay, I guess... Oh, that's the wrong Quaggan. Holy crap, that's Suash. That's the, uh, wannabe captain. Ooh, Got it. Ooh, well did. Nice. Please help Quaggans! These Jetsam Isle pirates are always picking on people littler than them. How can I help? These pirates need to know what it's like to be little and picked on. Please beat them up, steal their treasure, and break their stuff. Then they'll know what Quaggans feel like. I'll do all I can. Death right. before defeat. And we're gonna get rid of this cannon because it's annoying the crap out of me. Oh, and it'll give us hard XP, which is nice. I can't believe you can't jump onto that platform. It's stupid. Alright. That took entirely too long to kill. need the cannonballs for anything. I think, I think I have to like bring those back or something stupid like that. I don't like fetch things. There we are. Uh, we'll grab that vista. Jetsam Isle. So yeah, these are the Jetsam pirates. Uh, as in like Flotsam and Jetsam, obviously. I believe the captain's name is also Jetsam, but obviously you can tell where ArenaNet was inspired with the name. Uh, we'll steal the pirate loot. Those are nice because you just get some loot from them. It's pretty cool. Grab this vista here. Watch that thing. 
Holy crap, I bet I skipped some vistas earlier, didn't I? I bet I did that. I bet I skipped some vistas. Holy crap, I haven't done that in a while. I was, I've was, i been being pretty good. But yeah, I think I did. I think I skipped a couple. Um, like, not skipped them, getting them, but skipped watching them. We're supposed to watch them all on the stream. So that's unfortunate. Oh well. Well, uh, I'll make sure I watch them from here on out. And if I don't, I don't think it's a huge deal. I don't know why I like fusion shield for. I just feel like it doesn't get enough love, so I need to use it every now and then. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're almost done with this heart. I believe there's a couple pirate hearts. The heart I really hate on uh, this map is the Atten heart. It just it takes so long. It fills so slowly. Not a fan of the Etten heart. That'll come later. That that might be the last heart we do, honestly. I think it's usually my last one. The Etten, there's an Etten one and a Jotun one, and one of those two usually ends up being my last one. There's this one done. Is that 12 out of 15? Yeah, only three more hearts. Wow. We uh, are 200,000 XP off our next mastery. We'll hop over here, grab the waypoint. All right. That, uh, that person has a name right there. I can't even read it. More swiftness. Always more swiftness. There's our false like waypoint. I find more than often than not, this is the waypoint you're gonna end up teleporting to when someone finds Bwicky during guild missions. Like, that, 9 out of 10 times we go to this waypoint for Bwicky. Twigs and Guns in chat says, Hello, hello, welcome back to the stream, Twigs and Guns. Good to have you back. Alright, uh, we're gonna head down for this POI, then this POI, then this, uh, waypoint, then that POI. How does that sound? I think that sounds fantabulous. I believe it's a heart down at this, uh, this ship area as well. Are the pot No, the pirates are Covington pirates. So these are pirates under the command of Tata Covington that has her headquarters over in Blood Tide Coast, which is a map over insect. from here. But it just kind of shows uh, that she has pirates all the way over here. Kind of shows how expansive her crew is. This is the end. She's kind of a pirate warlord. And like I said before, she is a world boss. You can't fight Tata Covington. Defense. Yeah, these are her. Uh, these are her people. Say goodbye. I don't really know why I'm using a hammer. I just like to switch it up every now and then, you know. Cooks and Guns says, yes, I've been busy. Nice to chill and watch the stream again. Yes, very much so. I'll Thank you, sir. You Thank you very much. Ah. I was trying to run away from you guys. Why would I switch to Jalus? I accidentally hit my, uh, my weapons, or my legend swap sometime. It's like it's F1 versus, uh, Tilda, so, you know. It gets mixed up sometimes. That one look that char looks like rocks, except it's totally a dude, so that's... It actually doesn't look like rocks at all. But from behind, it totally did. Alright. I don't know how to get up there, so we're not gonna bother with that dude. Unless he wants to come down to us. Ooh, we can tear down the pirate flags, that's what we can do. Leave that, uh... That does some good in the world. Yeah, I kinda got the shipwreck, uh... The shipwreck, um, city going on. Not really city, but a little shipwreck town going on here, made of beach ships, little mini Light lanzars. makes me right. I need more pirates to kill, and they're all up on the ship. Is this another herald? Yeah, it looks like it. I didn't know, uh, so do you have two revenants, Elenia? Because wasn't the one you were here on before a revenant also? I mean, I guess you said you have, like, 19 characters, so of course you have two revenants. What am I saying? <laughs> Alright, um... Quotinitas says maybe it was Rox's brother. Ah, that is a good point. All right, Twigs and Guns says I swear they look like a girl from behind. See, I'm not crazy, not crazy. And uh, wait, he says it with a cap of face, of course, but I'm still clinging to the fact that I'm not crazy. Um, Alenia says I have three revenants. Got it. <laughs> I remember you saying you had like uh, 19 characters or something, so that's great, great, great. Uh, Quotidotas says, and became a pirate out of anger because he was never destined to reach important NPC status. That is amazing. That's officially that person's backstory now. No joke. Alright. His coat is, was very similar to, uh, Rox's. Like, the armor was very similar. And there's that heart out of the way. 
Um, we're gonna go over and grab the POI. The POI. <laughs> so close to mastery. Oh my gosh, I only need less than 200k, like 150k XP to uh, mastery level. It might happen this stream. Maybe. I mean, I've gotten like 300,000 XP, or 200,000 rather, so it might. I don't like this event. Um, it's a very long gather event. I'm not going to bother with it because it's supremely unfun. What was that called? Dwarves Gloaming. Interesting name. If anybody uh, in chat knows what the word gloaming means, do let me know because I don't. <laughs> I do not know what gloaming means. All right. Innkeeper Clement. Yeah, he just wants to warp an artifacts. And he says, Charget no love, poor rocks, didn't have custom armor. I think it's crafted level 20 green leather armor. Wow, that uh, that is rough. She has a sick shortbow, though, and a sick quiver. Like, no joke, Rox's short shortbow skin is like the best shortbow skin in the game, in my opinion. I love that shortbow skin, and her quiver is really cool looking, too. I wielded her quiver on my thief for a long time until I actually remodeled my thief, and the quiver didn't fit with the look anymore. But, uh, yeah, I, like, like you said, Rox's armor is a little lame, but I really like her bow and uh, quiver. All right, what's uh, what's this place all about? Fabry the Suspicious. You must be Ash Legion. Victory um, at any cost. I have no time for idle patter. Say what you will and leave me be. Uh, what are you doing out here? Keeping an eye on the pirates of Jetsam Isle. They've shown interest in things that shouldn't concern them. Really, like what? I heard you were meddlesome, Mabel the Ladle. When I know I can trust you, we'll talk more. Until then, let me do my job. Got it. Guys, was that dialogue super noir or what? <laughs> like, just the word, like the way the sentences were structured, I felt like it needed to be read in an over-the-top noir fashion. That's just, that's just how I felt, guys. Gutra's secret. Can I go inside here? Um, the homestead is locked up tight. It looks like there's no way to get in. All right. Screw you, then. Content? Why give them content? Um, Twigs and Guns says gloaming is a noun. I know it's a noun, I just don't know what it means. I mean, I don't know the meaning of that word. All right. He says, sounds like it would be an adjective or a verb. No, when it's, uh, because it's, it's possessive here. Dwarves gloaming, so it belongs to the dwarves. So, it, yeah, it would definitely be a noun. Um, Quotiditas said, you're destined to be a great voice actor, Aaron, with a kappa. Yes, they're definitely, if you said that without the kappa, Quotiditas, then I would be worried. But, uh, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully your sanity is preserved, um, with the kappa. All right. Oh, you say it means twilight or dusk. Very cool. Gloaming. That's a that's a that's kind of a cool word for twilight or dusk. Interesting. All right. Cloak and dagger in chat says that shack is enterable if you join the order of whispers. Oh, okay. I haven't done, guys. I haven't done any personal story on this character, so uh, you know, that's gonna come later in the stream. So maybe we'll pop back there and go inside when that happens. But yeah, after we get our full map completion, we'll uh. We'll do the personal story. We yes, go to Definitely make sure. <laughs> That you include the kappa when you talk about my voice acting, because it is just the worst. All right, let's uh, head over to Jotun's shoulders and then continue unlocking the fogs. Mm. Some nice al got some nice alpine scenery. <laughs> Venison Pass. There must be deer here. Shocker. Big ol' shocker. <laughs> All right, it looks like we're gonna do... Yeah, I believe the... This is where the Etten and the Jotun Hearts are. I'm gonna go up north, and I'm gonna do the Jotun Heart, and then the... No. Is this where the Etten Heart is? I believe it is. The Etten Heart... Guys, listen, it's somewhere along the bottom here. I don't know. The Jotun Heart is here. The Etten Heart... Might be over here, actually. That might be where that is. But yeah, we'll do the Jotun Heart right now. Since we're here. Is there a POI up there? POI, and then there's a Vista back here. Got it. All right. Wow, that was a that was a dying noise, is what that was. Okay. Worm mound. Do the worms count for this heart? Battle Jotun and Ice Worms. Yes, perfect. That is what I like to hear.
Come at me, bro. Come at me, Broton. <laughs> Guys, I made a pun. Broton. Um, you can, uh, you can, you can ridicule me about that, um, at your leisure, because it's definitely deserving of, uh, face palms. Alright, uh, Twigs and Guns says, apparently the, apparently the origin of the word is from the Scots, going back to gloaming, and it is related to glow. Very cool. Yeah, I like that word, gloaming. Uh, that is a cool one that I had not heard before. He says from Glowen, which is Old English, and it's also the name of one of the dwarves in The Hobbit. A little bit of a uh, little bit of trivia there. A little bit of nerd trivia. <laughs> Bust out some stunbreaker there. Quotiditas says, "I think you need to leave the puns to me and Deo and Malthanus." Uh, Quotiditas is one of my guildies, obviously, and we uh, we get a little punny in the guild, guys get a little punny. It happens. I'm definitely not as adept at the puns as some of my other guildies, but I think... Listen, I think Broton was a pretty good one, okay? I think Broton was pretty solid punnage. Pretty solid punnery, in my opinion. Alright. Ooh, there's a veteran ice worm. Token Dagger says you should play some PvP. Aaron Reb is OP right now. I uh, yeah, I did uh, I did PvP on my I got my toggle walk toggle on. Um, I did some PvP on my Rev. <clears throat> um, you say it with a cap of face, but uh, I don't know I don't know PvP, so I don't know is is Rev like garbage right now? I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I did do some PvP on my Rev weeks ago, and it was pretty awesome. It that was uh, that was before the sword nerf, so it was still doing a lot of damage. But I don't know how Rev is right now in PvP. Do let me know, because I do see your Kappa face there, so it might be, he might have meant that revs are terrible in PvP. Alright. I'm gonna jump in Greatsword. I can't pick it up. Alright, Elenia says rev is fantastic. Alright. But no, I definitely, guys, you don't want to see me in PvP. Like, that is a, that is a crapshoot. <laughs> me doing PvP, it is a disaster area. There's that done. Let's see, now we just need the Vista, which I believe I want to go up here for. I think. Maybe. Or do I want to go over this way? I think I want to go over this way, guys. Hook and Dagger says, no, Rev is top tier. The Kappa was relating to the fact that you uh, are exclusively a pve -er. Yes, I am. Yeah, definitely. All the PVEs for me. Now, do I need to go over this way for the Vista, or do I need to go behind? Thinking I need to go behind, but I'm not entirely sure. Actually, this might be the way. This might be the uh, the way of the Vista, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, I think this was the right... No, we could have gone behind. It's no big deal. Um, We'll tackle that champion at and over there, definitely. We'll give that a try. Much easier Vista now that you can glide. I think that used to be tough, but... uh. Now you can glide, so it's like, whatever. But yeah, we'll tackle that champion Etten back there, because that sounds like fun. I like that little griffin cave there. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, that's neato. <laughs> but yes, we will definitely tackle the champ. Alright. 9 out of 10 vistas. So close to mastery leveling. Less than 100k XP to go. The question, guys, the qu the real question is, can I get back up there from here? Or do I have to go all the way back around? We're, uh, I think we're gonna have to up. Uh, can I? Oh! Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. Nope. Oh! Guys, I'm going to go around because this is, this is not fun. You know, you guys, you know how I am with jumping puzzles. It's It, it wasn't going to happen, okay? Um, let's talk to Adina over here. Um, I have tried to adapt these to these hunting grounds, but they're not the same. I hunt worms and other great beasts, but there are none here. Uh, why don't you go somewhere else? Where would we go? I'm sure there are other hunting grounds elsewhere, but nothing that compares to our old ones. I would rather the Jotun give us our homelands back. Take your homelands back. Are you cowards? 
Cowards, no, but we're not foolish either. I'll gladly fight to take back the old hunting grounds, if I can get the support to do it. But I'm not dumb enough to try it by myself, as long as you back up your words with actions when you get that support. Um, she's got a... See, they have beds! These guys have beds! Guys, if you weren't here last stream, we found a house up north that had zero beds in it. Like, there was no beds. And, uh, it was kind of, like, I was like, where do they sleep? The fury is All right. mine. Yeah, I did tweet about that um, when we found that picture, that house with no beds. I took a screenshot and tweeted it because I was like, guys, why are there no beds in this home? That's super weird. <laughs> yeah, Norn definitely sleep in beds. It's a thing. Okay. No run past all the trash. Get to the champ champ. The champ champ. Okay. Should be, yep, right up here. He's guarded by veterans. We're just gonna buy actually no, we should we should take him out first. They'll be a mega hassle. If I don't take him out first, so. Yeah, I'll play it smart. Whatever. I did guys, I didn't dodge that in any way. <laughs> Twigs and Gun says they don't sleep, they're a tribe of insomniacs. Well they had beds, I mean. The beds might be for other things, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> I imagine they sleep. <laughs> Alright. Looks like this guy's not going down too slowly. He's gonna be extra tanky because I didn't have a really large health pool compared to other enemies. But, uh, two heralds whacking away at him should, uh, should go make for a pretty fast, uh, champ fight. Someone's got a golem going on. Looks like it's a Lenia's. Lenia's using staff. Ah. Yeah, see, now he is going down a bit slow, isn't he? Because Etten's do just have a huge health pool. Let's make sure I keep throwing out buffs for us and stuff. Try to use my try to use my abilities. Fury is mine. Keeping Fury up is really nice for DPS, obviously. It still doesn't help me when I need to crit. Of course he's immune to Defense, then offense. He is immune to stuns. He's a pretty cool designed Etten. He's like grayer instead of green. Quickly. And his, uh, his head is different. And definitely a custom uh, champion and model instead of just making a bigger version of the trash model. I think his tats are different. I don't even know if the other Jotun do have, or not Jotun, but other Etans do have tats. Yeah, all that protection with heralds are nice. Alright, there's a 14k XP for that. I didn't get a exotic champ back though, that's kind of disappointing. Let's glide out of here in style. Alright. I do feel like kind of a badass killing that champion and then gliding out from around the from around the corner. That's super cool. <laughs> That's like something out of a corny action movie. Alright, let's go down to this POI and then we'll... Looks like we, all we've got left is just this chunk down here. I bet we missed a heart somewhere. Oh no, we've got 14 out of 15 and we haven't done the Eden heart yet. So I've done all the hearts. Got them all covered. Um, one more skill point, one more vista. Is it just one more of everything? No, we got four more POIs. Oh, wow. Spoken Dagger says at the appropriate level, that champ is really difficult. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, having two level 80 heralds to take it out is kind of underwhelming, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely do remember running into that champ uh, previously and having a lot of issues with it. All right. Ooh, the mastery level is real, guys. 2142 out of 2222. So I've got 80,000 more XP. I don't know, man. We might get it, we might not. It is a toss-up at this rate. Cores, as many as you can find. I don't want to gather cores for you. Gathering is boring. It's terrible content. It's not terrible content. It's just not content I personally enjoy. Book and Dagger says, I said really difficult twice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, here's the joke. Here's the Ettenheart. We'll uh, unlock the POI and all that good stuff. 
Let's see. Do we have our four POIs covered here? We got one, two, three. Of course. Guys, of course we forgot one POI. Would it be map completion if we didn't? <laughs> Where could it be? We'll look for it later. God freaking. Uh. This guy's name is Poor Slob. That is just fantastic. I love that name. <laughs> that is beautiful. All right. Uh, Eleni is reminding me to use my food. I think I used all of it. The fury is mine. Yeah, I think I did use all of it. I do not. Uh, yeah, I think I used both my doses. No big deal. I think, on in all honesty, there's a chance I do get the mastery level this uh, this run. All right. Yeah, let's go down and grab. How, how about this, guys? We'll grab all this junk around here, and then we'll do the uh, we'll do the heart last, since it's going to be a little time consuming. No. How does that sound? I think that sounds like a rather spiffing plan, if you ask me. Oh, I guess. No, we did have all our BOIs covered, because that's uh, that's 42 out of 43. I guys, I guess I miscounted. I'm I'm a dunce. That's all. Uh, that's all I have to say is I'm a dunce. I miscounted BOIs. All right. Um, we'll go over here, get a last waypoint, last vista, then last POI, then last heart. And then we will have the map. Guys, we're going to have the map finished. It's pretty sweet. And uh, if I... Tell you what, if I don't mastery level, I will... Uh, I, will fin I will finish the mastery level. If I don't mastery level after map completion, I will finish it. I was going to say, there's no way I'm waypointing just to get, just to get up from there. there ha I had to be able to get up there. Okay. I need a moment. Grab the waypoint, and then we'll move on to the vista. No big deal. Get that map completion. Got map completion swag. How much total map completion do I have in the world? I'm 53%. Um, I've got 53% of total world map completion done, so that's pretty neat. Oh, I have to... God, I have to jump all the way up. That's annoying. Alright, can I get up this way? I can. That is too cool. So yeah, I need what I need to do is go up this way. Ah. Can I not go that way? Is that not a goable area? What the f Do I need to go? I guess you do go around? I thought you had to go the other way, but oh no, I guess you do go this way. Okay. All my struggle was for naught. I made that a lot harder than it needed to be, guys. <laughs> Much more difficult than it needed to be. That's a pretty... I mean, that, I, guys, let's be honest. That was a pretty generic Vista. Not, uh, not terribly amazing. But just one POI and one heart to go, I believe, are our numbers right now. Uh, yep, one POI. One, oh, and one skill point. Did I miss a skill point somewhere? I did. Where did I miss a skill point? I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. Got that one. Got that one. I got that one. Um, that one. That one. Where is that even? Is that way at the back? I guess that's way at the back of Ice Devil's Needle. I don't even remember that one, guys. We'll go up and get it later, after I finish this stuff. Can I make it? That I can't, can I? I'm going to have to go for that uh, little pathway there. Alright. Twigs and Guns says gliding rules. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Alright. Oh, I'm good. Guys, I'm going the absolute wrong way. Okay, and then we'll just go hack away at Ettens in here. Not the most fun heart in the world, not gonna lie. Defense, then offense. And you can gra gather Etten poop for this heart. That's the thing you do in this heart, is gather Etten poop. But uh, I think it might be for a specific event. But it's definitely a thing that happens. You shut up, sir. I will, I will touch what I want. That sounded so... That's not a thing you want um, people to hear you say. But uh, in this context, it's fine. So we'll just move on past it. Alright, let's pop in here and take care of all these dudes. Come on. There we go. I didn't really have a plan past Jade Wins. I just wanted to Jade Wins a bunch of guys. There's that done. Res this dude. 
I guess it's a, I guess it's a lady, isn't it? Guys, I, ref I dude for me is a uh, is a non-binary uh, pr pronoun, right? I call everyone dude, guys, girls, animals. I call them all dude, okay? They're all dude. Did we not kill that guy? Oh my gosh, we didn't. Okay. Give up yet? Alright. Is there... Do I want to be going this way? No, I want to go up here because I want the POI. Because we're here for map completion, after all. Get that researcher up. Oh, why is my inventory all the way over there? I think because I was... Thank you. Threads like earlier. That always makes my things go in weird places. Two-headed meadows. And that is named that, of course. Ooh, there's the heart. That is named that, of course, because Ettons have two heads. Alright. Let's grab that heart. And then let's pop up and do our last skill point to complete the map. Okay. It's going to be all the way up here. I didn't know that mine went back that far. I mean, obviously, I've done it a bunch of times before, but I... I didn't know that, guys. I didn't know that that went all the way back that far, but I guess so. I didn't remember that it went back that far, I guess. I guess I could ping that uh, waypoint to Alenia. Alright. It's, uh... I guess she didn't have it. Okay. Uh, looks like I wanted to go the other way, but we'll, uh... We'll figure it out. Guys. I go the wrong way at least, like, at least 75% of the time on the stream. It's not a big deal. Okay. Oh, that doesn't connect, does it? Is this a dead end? See? See what I said? I go the wrong way every single time. We'll make it work. We'll, uh, we'll just backtrack, right? Will disconnect, I wonder. It, it It's not going to, I don't think. Um, it might. It might connect. That might be a thing. Mm. Yes, it will. Okay. Do I have anything aggroed? No. Alright, yeah, now I remember this. You have to kill this guy's elemental. Defense, then offense. And this will be, uh, this will be our map completion, guys. Pretty, pretty sweet. Bit of a shorter stream today. Um, it doesn't look like we're gonna get our mastery, quite get our mastery level from the map, but I will go, uh, I don't know, I'll go kill some stuff in Silver Waste or something for the, uh, for the mastery level. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that got me up to 197, and then this will get me up to just over 2 million. Yep. 2,205,000 out of 200, 2,222,000. So I need to do, like, a couple events. Um, Salutations! Word of your exploits continues to spread far and wide. No matter where you travel, you embrace those around you and help them in their times of need. Lornar's Pass has been a challenge for travelers and adventurers alike, but you overcame all its unique trials with ease. But as for your forays into unfamiliar expand, be aware that the dangers will likely increase as well. It has been said that most enduring legends are built upon the foundations of danger. Keep up the good work, the Tyrian Explorers Society. Twigs and Guns says, GG on the map complete. Yes, thank you, sir. 40 iron, that's a nice reward. I like iron. It's, uh, it's pretty nice, don't need the pirate room. Grab our transmutation charge. Pretty, pretty awesome. All right, I'm gonna park this character in a and whatever that place is called, Divinity's Reach. And then I'm gonna hop on my char really quick and just bump out that, uh, that mastery level really quick. And then we'll, uh, call it a night for the stream. Loading screens, the enemy of every streamer. Alright. Just give me a quick load here, and then we'll, uh, switch characters. Any day. That would be great. Maybe. Usually, uh, with this new machine, loading screens don't take that long, but I guess, uh, with the stream running, my computer has a lo little bit more to process. So that would make sense. <sighs> All right. Here's the deal. Seize the moment. I'm going to manage all that crap later, because I don't feel like... Ooh, do we have enough skill points to, uh, train something in Herald? We do. What are we training? 
Um, it looks like we're training Radiant Revival. Gain infused light when you begin reviving a downed ally. You revive allies faster. Increased revive speed. Converts all incoming damage to healing. I will train that, and I will take that trait, because it's better than the one I'm using now. Alright. Perfect. That sounds like a awesome trait. I will use it. Alright, I'm going to switch it up to uh, good old my good old Tempest here. My Silver Waste character. Not the best Silver Waste character, I'll be honest, because... um. It's a direct damage character, it's not a Condi damage character, and Condi damage helps out a lot in Silver Waste for the Morgem Husks. But, um, I just really like playing my Dagger Dagger Ellie, so I want to have it in a place where I know I'll play it relatively often. So I parked uh, my Dagger Dagger Ellie in Silver Waste. That's why he's my Silver Waste character, just because I like playing him. And Silver Waste gives him a lot of stuff to kill. So what do we got here? We got, oh, Eleni was in the Silver Waste. Fascinating. Um, we got 17,000 XP to grind out. Uh, one, one or two events should do it. They did nerf a lot of the event XP in Silver Waste because they obviously they saw it was going to be um, oh the Mordrum attacks just became active. Perfect. Did I go into action mode? Yeah, I did. But um, yeah, they nerfed a lot of the event XP in Silver Waste because uh, obviously the events tick off so often. There's so many events and you're getting rewards so often that it would just be a really easy way to grind out your core masteries. So a lot of these events give you like 10,000 XP, a lot of them give you like 1,000 XP, which I think is a bit lame, but the rewards are so good that it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'll grind out that last bit of XP here. And you can watch me terribly play Elementalist. I'm not gonna lie, Elementalist is one of the classes I'm not fantastic at, but I also enjoy the most. It's pretty weird. Like, I'm fabulously bad at it, but it's so much fun to play. Oi. Fired up. Like, uh, I remember a couple weekends ago, I think it was, I got, uh, I was streaming Silver Waste in place of the podcast, and I got hosted by the, uh, Tea Time guys. And everybody in chat was just like, oh my god, this this guy's rotation is the worst. <laughs> it was really funny. Because it is, my rotation is not, uh, not meta in any way. Menders are the worst, we don't like them. Ah! I do like, uh, I do, I just like to, uh, I like to go into all the different elements and stuff. I don't like camping one too much. Of course, with Tempest, it is, I do camp fire and air a lot more with Tempest since you need to charge the overloads up. And overloads are so awesome. Get that bandit chest over there. See what we get. Probably the usual, nothing special. Yeah. Alright, um, not much action going on on this fortress. I bet it's happening over here. Yep, it is. Pop that, uh, that sweet, sweet overload. Love fire grab. I miss with fire grab a lot, but I love it. It's such a cool skill. So, just find and drag that Dolgat here with our supplies. There's that. I don't have enough energy. I don't have enough energy. Sounds so lazy when he says that. So seductive. That big, uh, that big brown char, guys. <laughs> All right. I probably won't upload this section to YouTube. The VOD will probably cut off um, when the map completion finishes. Strong. But I do want my uh, mastery level so I can switch over, switch back to pack mastery training. I've been alt leveling, uh, I've been alternating between pack mastery and fractal leveling every every mastery level. Actually, I think I've caught them up with my legendary crafting also, so I might switch back to legendary. I think I'll do legendary crafting last, honestly, because I think I have tier 3 on that. And uh, I, I want to finish out packed and fractal first. I didn't really finish that dude off. Oi! Oh no, I'm going to waste my lightning overload. Oh well. Listen, I tried. This is basically watching me play Ellie, just watching me waste opportunity after Fire opportunity. Up. It's pretty, guys. It's pretty cringeworthy. Just get used to it. Looks like we've got some I some feel. action over here. Some action. Twenty three seconds left on the event. We'll see if we can get a couple more kills in under our belt. Seriously. Ah, no, I don't want to res him. I want to uh, attack this dude. I don't think I can kill this dude in 10 seconds. Not with a... Not without a Condi damage character. Get them off me. 
Might be able to make it. Oh, yep, I did. Wow, I think someone helped me, in all honesty. There, we got our mastery level. Awesome, perfect. Let's get started. Excellent. I'll help this dude. Help me! Because I'm a nice guy like that. Alright, let's uh, level that up. I am running out of mastery points, guys. Only 15 left. And then uh, one more on Fractal to max it out. Um, maybe, I mean, I could stay on Fractal to max it out, but I think I'm going to go to Pact, in all honesty. How much XP is that? 3 million, guys. Fantastic. Alright, um, let's, uh, Need let's park this guy charge. in a safe spot. In a relatively safe spot. No spot's actually safe in this fort. Park this guy back here. Um, stand next to Elenia if you want. Thank you, everybody, for uh, coming out to the stream. I really appreciate it. We're going to uh, plug some stuff really quick. Guildmag.com, of course. Go ahead and check that out. Um, I'll be publishing a new article probably around next week. It'll be a Thrifty Threads article, which is our fashion column, where we uh, display outfits that you can... Really cool really cool uh, armor mashups that you can get on the cheap. And I'll be doing one for Asur and Heavy Armor characters. So I just finished making the outfit today, so that'll be coming out soon. And uh, do check out our magazine issues, because that's the main thing we are known for at Guild Mag, is our Digital Guild Wars 2 magazine. Very, very cool, very high production quality stuff, lots of articles, fan fictions, editorials, and uh, some really cool graphic design by um, Anthony and Rowan, our two designers. Um, at Guild Mag on Twitter, um, follow us here on uh, Twitch if you haven't already, if you like the stream and you'd like to continue watching it. Um, go ahead and go over to youtube.com slash guildmag and subscribe there if you want to catch the VODs um, on YouTube that you went for the times you missed the stream because we do upload all of these to YouTube. And uh, pod Guildmag podcast every Sunday on this Twitch channel, uh, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you tune in for that every Sunday. And uh, I think that's about it. Big thanks to my friend Elenia here and for uh, coming out and helping me with my map completion. That's always fun. And... Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Guild Wars Monk. My Twitter handle is right next to my portrait there. And I will see you guys next week. Goodbye, everybody.